Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the garden. This is going to be a fast one. Uh, somebody wanted this, so I can only oblige and make it. Um, so we're gonna make kind of a Easter inspired springtime wheelbarrow. This one is going to take a lot of flowers. Uh, you know, first and foremost, be forewarned if you are planning to do something like this, it's gonna take a lot of flowers. Not only that, uh, I'm sure there are better ways to do it, but we'll get into that a little bit later here. Um, before we get started, we're going to take a look at some of the ingredients. The main ingredients in this is just going to be tulips and daffodils, mainly because that's what I have blooming right now. I honestly don't have a lot of perennials and things for early spring just because uh, my little growing area is so new and I'm just trying to get established and things like that. But uh, you, I just, you know, you can have beautiful arrangements and things with very little, you know, access to plants. I'm not sure. I'm just rambling on. Anyway, I guess this video is going to serve as kind of a mini tulip tour as well. I've picked a lot of tulips. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do a tulip tour video this year. Uh, first, I have this green spirit tulips. These are insanely gorgeous. I love these things. I simply cannot get enough of them. They are the perfect balance of white and this kind of soft lime pastel green color. So, so pretty. Perfect in arrangements. Also, the stem length is really good on these and they don't blow open too fast, so it's a really good one. Also in this, we're going to have some Black Hero. Uh, Black Hero is a little bit darker. It's that kind of really, really dark deep purple color. Uh, almost borders on burgundy sometimes, uh, depending upon the lighting. Uh, we have some other, I think this other purple is Backpacker, don't quote me on that. If it's not, I'll write it what it is on the screen uh, here in a second. I also have some Jumbo Beauty, which are my favorites, one of my favorite single tulips, as well as I believe it's Blushing Lady, another one. This is a Lily one. This one's absolutely gorgeous. If you love the soft peachy pastel colors for your tulips, this one's absolutely just oh, perfect. Love it. I don't like very many single tulips, so these ones that I do like... Um, they really seem to perform very, very well. So also, I guess we'd go ahead and take a quick look at the daffodils that I'm using. Um, if you want more information about each of these daffodils, I am going to have a daffodil tour video coming sometime very, very soon in the future. It's going to be a long one. It might be over an hour long. So if you're interested in that, um, be on the lookout for that. The vast majority of the varieties that I used in this um, kind of giant arrangement are kind of the salmon and peachy tones. We have apricot whirl in there. Is long, you know, a lot of those precocious. Those are really another one that are my favorite. I think Tahoe Valley is another we have in here. And lots of smaller varieties as well. There's some geranium. Um, I really, really, really had to aggressively cut the daffodil beds to get enough flowers to fill this entire wheelbarrow full of flowers. It was a lot. Now getting into the structure of this thing, I am using trellis netting. Now in a perfect world, chicken wire would have been so much better. I didn't have any. I wanted to make this video before Easter. Um, somebody requested it on Patreon and I didn't have any chicken wire. So I just used trellis netting. So the first thing I did was prop up the wheelbarrow so that it was level or close to level. You know, I didn't measure it or anything. I didn't get a level out. Then I began to fill it with water. In the middle of this, I actually added several flower buckets. Um, the flower buckets just add a little bit of height and a little bit of stability. If I were going to use this technique again, I might, I, you know, add even more flower buckets or cups or something in there or jars. Probably mason jars would have been a good option. Um, just to keep those standing upright. Again, obviously you wouldn't have to do that if you were using chicken wire. That would have been the best solution. I feel like I have to say all these disclaimer type things because I am not an expert in flower arranging. I am very much a messing around at home kind of flower arranger. Um, in the future, I do want to learn more about that and get more into that, but I am just not there yet. I'm working on it. But if anything, I think it just proves that you don't have to be an expert, you know, you can just grow your own flowers and you can make something really beautiful for yourself. And that's really, really rewarding, at least I think it is. Since it is so early in the season, I don't have a lot of filler foliage, unfortunately. So I am going to be relying on these tulips to do a lot of heavy lifting. Obviously, you want to remove all the leaves that are going to be below the waterline. I did my best to do that, but um, let's face it, I missed some. 
Anyway, I began by arranging some tulip leaves in here and some tulip stems. I started with the darkest colors first and worked my way from there. After I had a pretty good structure with the tulips, I began to add daffodils. The reason I did this is um, a lot of the daffodils are a little bit more delicate than tulips and some of them nod down, some of them nod up. They really just have a different appearance. Once I managed to get a good base layer, I went back with even more of my tulips. A lot of these tulips that I went back with are the ones that were really tall, had really nice strong tall stems and were at the right stage that I needed to pick them. So they were good choices to be kind of my focal flowers above everything else. Overall, considering this is the first time I've ever done this and I have, you know, literally no idea what I'm doing, I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous. I am so pleased with it. So far it has been in the yard and it shows no signs of wilting. I just make sure to top off the water every day, make sure everything's staying submerged and hopefully um, it'll last up to a week, maybe more if I'm lucky. Let me know what you think down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this or not. It doesn't matter. Um, subscribe if you are new here. I'd love to have you. If you don't want to, that's no big deal either. Uh, either way, I hope you're having a really great day. You totally deserve it. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means the world to me. I will talk to y'all later. Bye!